Hi, Rick Seckleberry here with a quick briefing about warrants. Origin Clear has now launched a new offering, we call it Series R, which has up to four warrants. Now what that means is an opportunity to multiply your investment without having to pay for it up front. You're basically investing your basic amount and then as the stock price changes, you're able to um, purchase these warrants and end up with more stock. The good news is you don't have to risk it now. So let's take a look at how that works. Our basic warrant that we have is warrant A, and it is um, simply five cents, 12 months, and cashless option. And I'll explain what that means in a second. So let's take a look at your typical investment. Now remember, you can invest less than that, but that's a normal investment. And you have 100% coverage, which means that for this warrant, you can invest up to $100,000 or any part of it, right? So that's 100,000, you have a five cent strike as we call it. This is a strike or exercise price is what you pay for it, which means for $100,000, you get 2 million shares. Very simple, right? Now, out of that, let's say that the stock price goes to 10 cents. Now you have an opportunity to go ahead and exercise the warrant. Well, um, at 10 cents, your 2 million shares would now be worth $200,000. You can afford to do it. You pay the $100,000 and you end up with um, $100,000 profit. Great. Let's say now that the stock price goes to 20 cents, right? Well, this becomes 400,000 and this becomes a $300,000 profit. Not bad, huh? Now this assumes that you paid cash for it and you have a cashless option with this warrant, but you can always pay cash, which there's pros and cons. I'll explain how that works in a second. Okay, so let's take a look at what a cashless option does. Well, basically you're looking at your 2 million shares multiplied by the later stock price, let's, let's call it 10 cents, right? And we subtract from that, again, 2 million shares times your cost, which is 5 cents. And let's see how it works. Well, it's $200,000, right? Minus $100,000. And how do you pay for that? You pay for that with stock. Well, that's basically half. So here's those 2 million shares. Remember, the 2 million never changes. And you deduct 1 million, which is half, and you end up with 1 million shares. Not bad, but listen to this. Let's say if we go to 40 cents here. Now, you didn't have to give up a million shares, right? Because you're only giving up 1 eighth of 2 million not one half, which is 250,000 shares, which means here you now have 1.75 million shares. More shares, right? So in general, cashless works best if you have a nice big difference because you won't have to give up so many shares. A lot of people don't even like to give up this many shares and they pay cash. If you can do it, great. If you can't do it, then you can't do it. But there's one benefit to cashless, and this is an interesting one. Now, not a lot of people know about this. And that is that, let's take a look at passage of time here. And um, I'm gonna persuade my whiteboard to give me some passage of time. Here it is. Okay. And, um, I, pay, I make my investment here at $100,000 uh, month one, and it goes along here, and month 12 is when the warrant's no, more, no good anymore. Well, let's say at the six month mark, I decide to exercise the warrant. Now remember, six months is when you can sell shares that were issued by a company. And um, if you do it with cash, so you pay your $100,000 right here, you're going to have to wait another six months to be able to sell it. 
But interestingly enough, if you do it with zero dollars here, guess what? You can sell it right away. And that is because no money changed hands. Therefore, the last, the only investment, the only monetary transaction that occurred was here. And so right away you exercise and you're able to sell, which is good because if you have a cash warrant and you have to wait six months, well, you're going to be conservative, aren't you, right? So here is, again, that time graph. And we have, um, here we go, uh, you know, 50 cents, 40 cents, 30 cents, 20 cents, 10 cents, 5 cents. So here's, here's our 5 cent warrant. It dies right here at 12 months. Okay, so... If I have a cash warrant, stock price, hypothetically, goes up here and does this business. Okay, if I do it at 10 cents, well, I'm gonna have to wait six months, right? And so during that time, there's not a lot of difference. Things could happen. Because five cents is not a lot of buffer. So with um, cash warrants, you want to do it as high as possible. Another important rule for all warrants is do it at the end. Don't do it any, you don't get anything by doing it before the very end. Right there, day 364, exercise your warrant. Why? First of all, no cash, I mean, no, uh, there's no tax penalty, right? As long as you're a warrant, you're not, you're not taxed on it. Number two, you have the least risk possible. So. You wait. Don't exercise too soon. Nothing gained by it. So that's in short what warrants are all about. They're fun. They really make investing more rewarding by giving you multiples of your investment. And they can also sometimes be cashless, which is good if you don't want to put out money. To know more about it, please feel free to email invest at originclear.com. You can always Talk to Ken Berenger, just oc.go slash Ken in your browser. Or of course, you can call us. And the number, I remember it well, it's the old LA number, 323-939-6645. And you can get Ken Berenger at extension 201, Devin Angus at extension 116. But investedoriginclear.com works great. And that email will eventually get to me if you want to talk to me. Love to hear from you about this. It's an exciting time for the company. Do join us. Thank you.